Jure. Greetings from Ladakh. We are now here by beside Hangkong Lake with a Ladakhi costume. <laughs> this is where the movie Three Idiots was shot. Hello everyone, welcome back to Mommy Traveler. It's me Tanu and today we are here with another episode of the All India Tour series. In our previous episode, we vlogged about our stay in Nubra Valley. In case you missed watching that video, do check it out. The link is in the description box. Let's continue our journey to Pangkong Lake. It is one of the highest altitude lakes in the world that is filled with saline water. It is located at an altitude of 4,350 meters above sea level. However, even though it is saline water, Pangkong Lake freezes completely in winters. The drive to Pangkong Lake is absolutely scenic, beautiful mountains, lake flowing in the sides, grasslands. We were also lucky enough to spot many animals. These are rare breeds of horses that can be spotted in Himalayan regions of India. As you pass by, you can see herds of goats and sheep. The most popular one being Pashmina goat. Himalayan marmot is a big squirrel that lives in mountainous areas. Marmots typically live in burrows and hibernate in winter. Again, these are found in the Himalayan region. I'm not sure if you can really spot them on the camera because these animals camouflage with the mountains. They're called blue sheep. You can also spot a lot of yak farms on your way. We also stopped at Changla Pass. It is the third highest motorable pass in the world and serves as a gateway to the famous Pangkong Lake. There is also a Baba Mandir and cafe here. Finally, we get to see the first glimpse of Pangkong Lake. After about 6 hours of journey, we finally reached Pangkong Lake. This area is strictly under army surveillance as it is bordering China. These white colored domes you see are army camps. The blue lake surrounded by yellow mountains is a soothing sight. The crystal clear waters of the lake shine in many shades of blue and green. Pangkong Lake is shared between India and China. Only 40% of the lake lies in India.
Silma is a flowing robe worn by females. Females use bright colored sash to tie around the waist. Yogurt and Lokpa are the traditional cake. Tipi is the hat. Costume charges for a set is 100 rupees. You can also make use of these scooties and seat at additional cost. This is the traditional dress of a Ladakhi woman. It was so much fun posing and dancing in front of Pangpong Lake. Let me tell you some incidents that happened to fellow travelers. We reached Pangpong Lake at about 4 pm. We checked in our hotel, freshened up, and went to the lake. We took many pictures, we tried on the costume, and then it started to drizzle. In sudden panic, we all started to run back to our cottage, and that caused breathing difficulty. We had to get oxygen cylinders for our friends. We also saw some women who came with photo plates. They were inappropriately dressed for the weather. Later in the night, they were taken to medical department. So do take precaution, wear appropriate clothing for the weather, walk slowly, take small steps. Make sure to carry oximeter to check your oxygen level. By 7 pm, it was totally dark. There was no electricity. We were going to sleep, but it was so cold that we were not able to bear it. So 5-6 people slept in one room, so it will be a bit warmer. Despite using 3 blankets to cover us, it was cold. These are few things to keep in mind when you travel to Pangpong Lake. Number 1. Always pre-book your accommodation and with that do book the food too. You will get breakfast and dinner. Number 2. Carry warm winter clothes. Number 3. Carry medical aid in case of emergency. Altitude sickness is a very common thing around lake. So the first day you reach lake, make sure your body gets acclimatized to the climate. Number 5. Do not expect electricity throughout the day. Number 6. Do not expect phone signal. Charge your power banks and charge all the cameras you have. You will also need an inner line permit to enter Pangpong Lake. You can get the inline permit from Lay DC office, apply a day prior. When it comes to food, you will be getting the food in the homestay or camps. Number 9. It is advisable to have oxygen cylinder in case of emergency. Number 10. The road to Pangpong Lake is quite rough and rocky, so make sure you have a high ground clearance car. Number 11. Carry some spare fuel as the nearest petrol pump is 135 kilometers away. As we approach a high altitude place, the sun rays are strong, so don't forget to carry sunscreen and cap. And make sure you cover your full body. And this is the view from my room to the beautiful Pangkong Lake.
Just have you next to me Hurts in Tokyo Look at where I have to go Screw geography But would you do that for me? This is the highest salt water lake in India at about 13 to 14 thousand feet. So after two days at Pangong Lake, we are now heading back to Leh. On the way, we have more things to cover, so do stay tuned for our upcoming videos. We hope you liked our video. If you did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends and family. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Mommy Traveler. Much love, Anu and Sanu. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching.